paused welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is diana i'm 16 years old and i'm a junior in high school i'm almost 17 so also i don't know why i'm throwing my arms like that but like um so a lot of you actually requested for a what's on my iphone video but first of all can we talk about that video like what happened there like it got so many views and i'm like so grateful for that because that's my most viewed video on this channel as of now and i i am just so like confused i don't know so thank you guys for blowing that up and I, we did gain a lot of subscribers from that video so yeah just a welcome to my channel i guess if you're new so if you haven't watched that video yet i unboxed my iphone 14 pro max and i'll have the video up here and yeah just like a lot of you wanted me to do this so i was like i mean i might as well you know you ask and i shall receive so i'm here to do this video for you so to start i have the iphone 14 pro max in the black color is it the space black i don't I, I don't know what it's called but yeah i did get this phone for black friday and i unboxed it last week so yes i have it in the space black and look at the reflection on that like it's so like slick and just like clean i don't know how to explain it and this is the case that i have i have the red silicone case from the apple store and i just want to show you all this really fast what happens when i put my phone into my case like watch this Like, when, since when was that a thing? Like, I just, I figured that out on my own. Like, I'm gonna start the screen recording to show y'all. Um, someone just commented on my video. A really nice comment, so I... <sighs> oh sorry it just like it just like warms my heart that you guys are actually watching my videos like you guys are so sweet okay so when you first open my phone it's like this gray like very minimal very boring wallpaper it is what it is like i i love that minimal look it's monday january 9th at 5 25 p.m so when you first log into my phone i have a battery widget but yeah i guess watches just start with the apps now so first is the facetime i'm not gonna like actually go into like my personal stuff because like i just feel like that's not really necessary but i will go into like some apps obviously so basically i have facetime i use facetime quite a bit sometimes when i just want to call my friends or just actually i don't really use it that much to be honest and then i have my photos like, like these are really just like the basic apps you get when you first get a phone you know what i mean so there's photos and then i have a folder i have my notes app and my reminders i feel like those kind of go hand in hand so i kind of just put them in here i don't know maybe i should like change the name to something else but i don't even know what i have in here like reminders oh okay i haven't even opened this since i got my new phone so i feel like i should use this more often because i've heard that like this app is actually really helpful um which i mean it's kind of self-explanatory like i feel like it should be helpful but i'd never use it and i really want to get into like more organization this year and then my notes app i'm literally gonna blur some of this out because some of this like i just can't like i just don't feel comfortable giving it to y'all because i have some passwords in here that are showing on the, my screen right now so, so i'm gonna show you guys this things that i want but will buy when financially stable enough i'm not saying i'm not financially stable enough i have a job my goal for this year i don't know how else to word it so that's if, so if it sounds bad that's probably why i just like want to save more money this year and i feel like if i'm gonna like spend like half of my paycheck on something like that's not like being really stable like obviously i have parents that like pay for a lot of my things too but like these are just like my personal things that i buy and i just don't want to like spend like half my paycheck on it i saw some tiktok girl i think her name's like kensington or something on tiktok she's like a makeup influencer person she was wearing this onesie and i just like i loved it but it i was kind of pricey so i was like maybe not you know maybe maybe i'll wait hot mess ice roller this is from the skinny confidential i actually need an ice roller and i've heard this one's really good but it is also pricey as well then um i don't have a lot on here which you know i have like a lot of things in my head that i want but i i, I should probably put them on here so i can like actually see what i want but i've been wanting this shirt for so long and it's been sold out on the skims website the cotton jersey t-shirt if you go over there's another productivity folder which i should probably call it mail but it's just my mail and my gmail and then my camera app maybe should i show you all the camera on this i'm gonna show you all the camera on this okay so here you are oh my god if i flip it around hi look and go 0.5 or we can just zoom in more and more and more and then there you all are i love the camera on this it's really it's really nice like i really like it and the next folder is other entertainment this is just like some other like entertainment that like apple offers you on the apps but i just like don't really use it i mean the watch app isn't really entertainment so i don't know why it's on there but so the news i like never really actually oh yeah i literally you can see i haven't been on like the news at all next i have the apple tv i don't have apple tv so i don't like use it but i i think it's obviously it's just on here like look the watch app like i said i don't like use this this is the face on my apple watch that i have now actually 
contacts. I'm not going to go into that, but pretty self-explanatory. Utilities is the clock and the uh, calendar app. Then I have the maps. Find my... Find my is actually really useful when I lose my AirPods. Widget Smith. This is just all for like my widgets. I mean, like if it's others. This is just like the other like apps that Apple like offers you and gives you when you first open the phone. The weather app, translate, app store, files, tips, shortcuts, home, clips, Apple store, iTunes U, which I've never used. Pages, keynote, numbers, stocks, books, iTunes store, garage band. And then I have another weather widget because I just need it. I just always need to know what the weather is. Also at the bottom, let's go to the bottom, like the very bottom of my phone. So I don't like forget that. So just my phone, Safari, messages, which I know I have a lot of messages, you guys. It's usually just like those like um, brands that are always like, oh, like we have 20% off New Year's sale. I don't know. By the way, happy New Year's, guys. 2023. Next is the settings, which settings everyone has on their phone. Now we can actually get into the really fun stuff. Okay, so when you swipe right, this is actually the only other page that I have. The next page is just like my library and stuff. The very top is my socials. I have TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube. Netflix isn't really a social media, but I kind of put it on here. This folder is mostly like apps that I use the most. So it's not like all social media on here, but it's just all the apps that I use like most frequently. So Pinterest, Ereal, Disco, and Twitter. Um, I kind of order them by how often I use them. So TikTok, I use the most. Twitter, I use the least. Like, I literally have, like, zero followers on Twitter. Like, I just use that occasionally to, like, I don't know. If I see something, like, on TikTok that everyone's like, oh my god, look at Twitter. I don't know. Like, I just kind of, I don't know. Like, I, maybe I should delete that up. So I have TikTok. So I guess we can just go through that. <laughs> This is my TikTok. So I have two accounts actually. The one that I usually give down in my description box is not this account, but another account. And I'll go into that in a second. So this is my like personal account. Um, more like for like my friends and my family to see mostly just like it's kind of like more private and personal I mean if you request to follow me, I'll probably like decline it if I don't know you But the one you can follow me on which I'm gonna go into next is This one so basically this is not a so much personal account but this is my soccer videography account <laughs> let me explain myself if you have looked up my tiktok username in like past videos where i put my tiktok username in the description or something you will see that um it's this account you're like probably like whoa like where's diana you know it's like just all these guys <laughs> i don't know but um i did do some soccer videography stuff at the beginning of the year for my school's boys soccer team it was actually really fun to do and i like just decided like you know maybe i'll just like upload these videos on tiktok like First of all, I think they're pretty cool. Like, if you want to go watch them, like, I mean, they're not, like, what I usually post on YouTube. But they're just, like, videos that I make of the soccer team and I've gotten volunteer hours for. And I don't know. I just, like, decided to do it because I saw some girl actually on TikTok. Alex Hampstead? Hampstead? I don't know. But she is like my main inspiration why I started doing sports videography. She did some stuff for her high school football team. And I originally was going to do it for my high school football team as well. But I realized I wanted to be in the student section. And I didn't really want to be down on the sidelines recording like the whole time instead of like having fun. But you know, either way, if I did do football, I think it would have been fun too. But I just decided to go with soccer because I know the boys soccer coach and he just like let me go on the sidelines and do it and it was so much fun to do. So yeah, this is the girl that really inspired me. Her video actually went viral if you remember like number seven TikTok. It was like the locker room video of, let me see if I can find it. It was this video, it got 48.1 million views. And disappear right after the song. So give me the Okay, you guys get it. So there's that. I just do it for my uh, school's boy soccer team. If you guys want to go watch those videos, you guys can go ahead. I'm not going to show it on here just in case you guys aren't really interested. But if you want to go watch them, go watch them. Maybe I'll post more personal videos on here, like more like videos of me if this account ever like really blows up, you know. Okay, and then the next one that I have is Instagram. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I do not post on Instagram like whatsoever, like ever, like <laughs> like never in my life do i really post on instagram i really just use it to like see what my friends are posting and to see like what other people are just posting you know people like famous people and stuff you know to see what they're up to alex earl just posted this 17 minutes ago she went really like viral on tiktok but yeah if you guys want to go follow my account like feel free to i just i don't <laughs> maybe if i ever blow up and just like become famous or something i don't know then that's when i'll be like okay yeah, i should post for y'all you know 
Okay, so in this next clip, I'm like frozen on my phone screen. Like the screen recording just like glitched and it just like, <laughs> it showed me just like on Snapchat, like looking up from like the camera. So oh, I'm gonna be like scrolling and you guys won't see anything, but it's just Snapchat. Like you guys, I feel like you know what Snapchat is. So, um, so I just wanted to come in here and say that because some of y'all might be confused. Okay, back to the video. Um, Snapchat, I don't really want y'all to follow me on Snapchat or add me on Snapchat because like this is more of like a personal thing for me I guess. I just really snap just like my friends and stuff. Like I don't really use this. <laughs> Next, YouTube obviously. You guys are watching me on there. So I just, I mean, I guess we could go through my people I subscribe to. Most people I just like don't even like really watch their videos anymore. So I might go in and unsubscribe like after. Alexa. Ezco, Alexis Ren, Aaliyah, Zatia. I guess this girl also does like lifestyle videos. Emily does all, like some of these people I actually don't know. Oh wait, this girl I actually know. Well, I don't know in person, but like this girl I've actually been watching some of her videos. Bailey Sarian, I subscribed to her my freshman year because my French teacher told me about her and I was like, oh my gosh, like this girl is actually kind of cool. Like, I don't know. She like does her makeup and like explains like crime stories or like horror stories i don't know they're kind of interesting caroline manning this girl i also really like her videos i've been following her for a while colette johnson i think this girl actually kind of motivated me to start my channel next one the dolan twins guys where have the dolan twins gone like they were so funny and so like entertaining i don't know what they're doing now i heard they were like spotted somewhere so like i don't <laughs> emily i have no idea how to pronounce her last name but she also does like lifestyle videos emma chamberlain self-explanatory and Emma Chamberlain is just Emma Chamberlain like how do you not watch your videos Emma McDonald I think I like saw this girl on TikTok and I just like wanted to be here so I just subscribed to her channel I really don't know uh Hannah Elise she also does like some lifestyle stuff like question Hannah Maloche guys Hannah like I don't know how to what to say about this girl but she is the reason actually why I started making a YouTube channel because I Oh, I think I like started really watching her videos when she started living in Hawaii But this era when she started like living with her friends in Hawaii I wanted to be her so bad and I just like looked at her other videos and I was like, oh my gosh Like I've I've known of her for like like since Emma Chamberlain But like she genuinely like made me want to start a YouTube channel because I was like this girl is like what I wanted Like sh she's living the life I want to live. So yeah, just, Hannah if you ever watch this you are the reason. Lorraine <laughs> This guy hasn't posted in a while, but he is so funny. Lily Chow. Guys, subscribe to my friend. She is great. I'm actually in some of her vlogs, so if you want to go watch some of her stuff. Oh, shout out Lily. I know you're watching this, so. My fam. This girl, actually, I recently subscribed to her. She has, like, some really funny videos and actually really entertaining for, like, the length of her videos. Um, Monzalva Boys. <laughs> this is my cousin's. Don't even ask. Okay. Sabrina Carpenter. She's, like, one of my favorite singers. Uh, Sadie Crowell. I, like, love her. Sternia look triplets. I mean, I don't know what else to say. They were like, I feel like they were meant for YouTube, if you know what I mean. Sydney Serena, Sydney Serena, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I love her videos. Oh my god. Tamara Anthony, I don't follow this girl anymore on like any platforms except this. The Wizard Liz, I haven't watched a single one of her videos, but I saw on TikTok that she was a really good like person to watch. You want to like grow as a person and i her videos are really long but i actually want to like start watching them because i've heard they're really good vogue france i don't know i just kind of subscribe to them because they're vogue france like yeah colin this guy is on tiktok and he's so funny i saw that he posted something on on youtube like a few months ago and i was like um yeah i'm gonna subscribe to him that kind of took a while but netflix it's just Netflix. Like, how do you not have Netflix? Recently on Netflix, I'm watching I Am Georgina. She's literally living my future life. Like, she, like, I will have her life when I'm older. Like, I am determined to have her life. Like, she is, I want to be her. You know what I mean? Love is Blind. I watched that whole season and um, I didn't finish the last episode because I thought it was kind of boring. But I don't know. Like, I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of, it's it's interesting. Like, it's an interesting, like, show. But I don't know. I just never finished it. Ginny and George. <laughs> I'm not watching Ginny and Georgia right now, but I did watch like the first half of the first season and after that I just didn't watch it. Gilmore Girls I saw. I haven't watched Love, Love Island, guys. I know. Outer Banks is going to come out soon, like another season of it, so I'm very excited about that. There's one show on here, The Society, that I'm so mad about because they canceled it and they left it off on the cliffhanger. They canceled the show or something like that and I just, like what the heck? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I need to know what happened. Pinterest. 
I love Pinterest. I use this for like inspiration. I love Pinterest because it's like the media without like the social, if you know what I mean. Like it's not like you don't talk to people on here, but you just like save pictures. And yeah, if you guys want to follow me on here, please do because I actually kind of want to grow my Pinterest. I'm pretty sure if you just search up Diana Morales, I'll probably show up, but... If I don't, Diana Morales, but the O in Morales is a zero, so. These are my boards. They're really aesthetic and just Pinteresty. Uh, Be Real, this was a really popular app in the beginning of the school year. I don't really use it as much now. I use it like every now and then. Visco, I, if you guys want to follow my Visco, it's Diana Morales dash, so. <laughs> like, I didn't, Diana Morales was taken, so I had to do something else. Twitter, like I said earlier, I have zero followers on here, so don't follow me on here at all. I don't even know what my username is, so. Okay, on to the next folder. I, just, I didn't realize how long this video is gonna take. Shop, I have Sephora, Starbucks, Shop, Honey, Chick-fil-A, Amazon. Sephora, I absolutely love Sephora. By the way, it's my birthday month, so I need to get my like free gift. Starbucks, I mean, if you guys wanna know my Starbucks order, recently it's been an iced chai with almond milk and some type of cold foam on top. In the fall, it was the pumpkin cold foam. Regularly, it's just the cold foam, I guess. And then right now, recently, it's been like the sugar cookie cold foam. Shop, this is such a great app if you want to track your packages. There were recently, I actually bought the, <laughs> you guys might laugh at me, but I bought the Stanley Cup. This is just a great app to track your stuff. Next app, Honey. This app is an actual lifesaver. Like, I always see YouTubers promoting that app and like getting sponsored by that app, but like it literally gives you coupons to wherever it may be. Chick-fil-A, I eat Chick-fil-A like all the time. It's really good. Next I have Amazon. Amazon is just great. Like I love Amazon. This is my health folder, Flow. Ladies, if you know, you know. Uh, fitness, this is just like my Apple Watch, like fitness tracker app. Uh, my fitness pal, my fitness pal is great if you wanna like reach your fitness goals. Don't track your calories if you're young, first of all. I know I'm young, but like maybe I should reward that. Don't track your calories if you're like mentally unstable and like already don't have a good relationship with food. Like when you're mentally stable enough to the point where you're like, okay, like I feel okay going into this because I started going on my fitness pal my freshman year. And holy shit, that, that kind of like I was already mentally unstable enough because of COVID and like just like freshman year like starting. Um, and I started to track my calories and stuff and that kind of fucked up my head a little bit. Now I'm getting back into the swing of things. So the health app is just the health app that comes with your phone. School. Quizlet. I have Quizlet Plus, guys. Like, I got it because it's so helpful. Also, I'm kind of mad they like, did that, though. Like, Quizlet, why did y'all, like, have to, like... Why do we have to start paying to study? I kind of needed it, also, because Quizlet is, like, one of the main things that I use to study, so... Next is Schoology. Schoology is the app that my school uses to see your grades, see what your teachers are like updating, you know. It lets you know if you have an assignment almost due or anything like that. Photomath. <laughs> guys, do not tell my math teacher, okay? But Photomath. It just helps you with math problems. Freeform, this actually I think is new. I never saw this on my other phone, so I'm guessing it's just like an app to like draw on or like take notes on. I don't know. Next to all those folders is another widget that I have of pictures of just like my friends and just sunsets. Under that is calendar. So I have January 9th and that's pretty much it. I like how it shows you like the weekdays. It's like an actual calendar, you know what I mean? Under that widget, I have Pinterest. This is just from my words board. It just like kind of takes all the pictures that I've saved and it puts it right there as a widget. Next to that is my editing. So I have Lightroom, Facetune, Canva, and iMovie. I edit my videos on iMovie if you guys don't know already. I edit my thumbnails on Canva, but I do this all on my computer. The only apps that I use on my phone are Lightroom and Facetune Basic, but I don't really use them as you can see my Lightroom is like undownloaded. Audio, I love this folder too because it's just like, like I just, this is like where my piece comes in, you know? Music, I can't not live without music. And everyone's gonna be so mad at me because I like literally like don't use Spotify, but you know, I love music. I love all types of music. The only music that I will say I don't like is like hard, like rock music or like hard country. Like I'll say this, the country music that I like is like Morgan Wong, which is like the basic one, <laughs> but like then I have Headspace. Headspace is so, I use this every day. It's great. It's, so basically this app is like meditation. You click a video or audio and it basically guides you to like a whole meditation. It has something for like anything. Like I have like sleep music, guides to like fall back sleep. Even if you want to like work out, do some yoga, I don't know. And I'm actually doing a course right now. It's called Managing Anxiety. And this is actually so nice. And like, look, you can like pick with whoever like you want to speak. This is what it sounds like if you don't know. So welcome back to day three now yesterday i mentioned these three different ways that typically people relate to anxiety in the mind 
I don't know. And then it takes you like a breathing exercise. It's so nice. Podcast. Anything goes. I'm a Chamberlain. Crime Junkie. I listen to them a lot. And they give like really good episodes of like just like crime stories and stuff. And it's really interesting. So um, Audible. I've been wanting to get more into books. So I downloaded Audible and it, but I can't read a book that's really boring if I don't have an audiobook. Amazon Alexa. Next is work. eBay isn't really a job. So YouTube isn't really a job either. But this is just like more where like I see my analytics and stuff for YouTube. UKG Ready is for my actual work. So you can see like what days I'm scheduled, like how many hours I've worked, and when's my next paycheck. It's it's really nice. It's like an online thing. I'm not going to show you it because it's kind of more personal. But the next one that I have is utilities. The next folder. Voice mail compass measure i've used it like a couple times just to, like measure like some like pictures or something that i want to hang up on the wall calculator i do use this like in my math class sometimes like sometimes i don't feel like pulling out my actual calculator for my backpack so i just go on my phone and i just like do that the chase app wallet and that's pretty much everything that's on my phone like if you scroll over like yeah i only have like one page of like things that i actually use because i like to have everything just like in one spot i used to have everything like scattered all over the place in my old phone and i didn't like how that looked so i just decided you know for this video and just for me i'm gonna organize everything and i absolutely love how it looks like right now so okay so that's everything that's on my phone guys yeah thanks very much for watching my video but yeah let me know what other video you guys want to watch of mine i have an idea of a video that's coming up but I don't want to say because I want it to be a surprise. And I don't know if it's like official yet. So I will be uploading that video. But um, you guys will see. Okay, you'll you'll see when I upload it. So there's one video idea that I have. But if you guys have other ideas that you maybe want to see, comment them down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because that way I like know like like this is a serious thing and like that way I know like you guys actually want to watch me and it just gives me motivation to like post for you guys and it's like the video down below if you like this video if you didn't I don't know why you kept watching this video so yeah that's pretty much my outro thank you so much for watching this video I will see you guys in the next video bye just give you guys a big hug <laughs>